So, we move on to Everton on Sunday afternoon. Now, Everton are worse than Arsenal this season. And I'm slightly shocked at how badly they're doing because they spent an absolute fortune in the summer. And I do believe they've got a good manager. I really rate Ronald Koeman. But something's not quite right there at the minute. It seems to me that they're trying to replace Lukaku's goals with three number 10s that they've signed in Sigurdsson, Klassen and Wayne Rooney. Now, if you add up all the goals they're going to score this season, it ain't coming close to Lukaku. So they badly need a striker when the January transfer window opens. But with that being said, we'll probably turn them into a prime Barcelona at the weekend and they'll probably beat us three or four fucking nil because that is exactly what Arsenal do. They always go to a team that are struggling and they always get their win. A um, little bit like Watford at the weekend. Don't even get me started on that game. I'm going to side skirt that straight away. Now, I listened to a bit of what Arsene Wenger spoke about and he said that Lauren Koscielny is fit and ready to go after he limped off with cramp on Saturday against Watford. Alexis Sanchez and Aaron Ramsey are also both fit. Now, my 1-11 to for this game is as follows. Peter Cech in goal because he's better than anybody else at the club. It's as simple as that. My right back for the game is Hector Bellerin. Um, arguably our best player against Watford last weekend, although that weren't fucking hard, was it? Now, left wing back, I am going with the Bosnian beast, Saeed Kolasinac. If everybody played with the same hunger and aggression that this guy plays with, we would win 99% of our games. Now, the back three. This is where I had to really think about this one because Mustafi's still out injured, Callum Chambers is still out injured, so there ain't really a lot of choice. There's four centre-backs we can pick from. Now, I am not going with Per Mertesacker, so you can pretty much guess the three I'm going with. I'm going with Rob Holding, Lauren Koscielny and Nacho Monreal. Now Nacho Monreal, over, well pretty much since he signed, has probably been one of our most consistent players. He doesn't get the credit he deserves because he's not a fancy Dan and he doesn't do anything spectacular. Nacho Monreal is a good footballer and he is good enough to go in this back three. Now my midfield pairing... This is where I'm mixing this up because I have had it up to here with Granit Xhaka doing his stupid fucking passes that are leading to goals. We cannot afford a single passenger on Sunday. So I am going with Mohamed El Nenny. And people are going to go, yeah, but Mohamed El Nenny, he was shit the other night. But I don't care. Mohamed El Nenny is not a centre back. Okay? So let's have that right. Mohamed El Nenny is a midfielder, a central midfielder. I am going with Mohamed El Nenny alongside Aaron Ramsey. Now, the two in front of him behind the main striker, the only striker, I am going with Alexis Sanchez and Jack Wilshere. Now, Jack Wilshere, in my opinion, has deserved to start for a few weeks now. He's played the three Europa League games and he's been pretty much man of the match in all three of them. Now, last night, I don't think we were fantastic against Red Star Belgrade. Far from it. We were absolute trash. But... A moment of brilliance from Jack Wilshere where he burst through two players and then an, an excellent, unbelievable finish from Olivier Giroud ultimately won us the game. So there are my two behind the striker and my striker for the game is Alexander Lacazette. Yes, Mesut Ozil's not in my starting eleven. Sorry, mate, but you came on against Watford. You missed an absolute sitter and then couldn't be asked to track back, which ultimately led to a fucking penalty. So sorry, mate, go warm the bench. Until you can put some effort in and until you can show commitment to this team, you ain't getting back in mine. So that's my 1-11 to for the, for the game on Sunday. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Like I say, I see a tight game. But if that 1-11 to starts, I can see us winning. If that 1-11 to doesn't start, I see a boring sideways, sideways, backwards fucking game that we see week in, week out. I am going with a score prediction of Everton nil. Arsenal won. I'm thinking with my heart there rather than my head because if I spoke with my head, I'd put us down for a 2-1 loss. But I will be positive, sort of. This could be the difference between finishing 15 points behind the leaders or finishing 18 points behind the leaders. 
Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, like, share, and leave your comments down below. Laters, peeps. Thank you.